Hello, I am Dr. Fulakemi Odejno, Professor in the College of Pharmacy and Director of the Prostate Disease Center Outreach and Minority Affairs Program at the University of Florida. As a scientist, I have traveled all over the world and seen firsthand how prostate cancer affects black men within and outside the United States. Whether in our local community, statewide, nationally or globally, black men carry the most significant burden for prostate cancer compared to any other racial or ethnic groups. One thing that I constantly remind myself is that behind every statistics that we quote are the tears, pains, sufferings and agonies of the family and friends of every man affected by prostate cancer. We can end this. We made this video to spread the word about the importance of prostate health for black men, regardless of your ethnicity or country of birth. You are going to hear from our experts about the importance of prevention and early detection. You will also observe a conversation that takes place at the barber shop where men talk about prostate cancer and decide to take action. We hope that this video will entertain you and more importantly, encourage you to take control of your prostate health. Please, don't forget to pass on the knowledge. Together, we can conquer prostate cancer in our communities and globally. Thank you and enjoy. Oh, hey, that's good. I like this. Hey, Mr. King. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, Mr. King. Hey, Mr. King. Hey, Mr. King. Great to see you, great to see you. I'm loving that shirt. Very smooth shirt. Love the shirt, Mr. You're cool, Mr. King. I'm in a little rush hey, today. I'm telling you, look at that. What's man. Rush, Mr. King? Well, I got a doctor support man. Uh, hmm. A little behind schedule. Everything all right? Hmm. Yeah, my wife, uh, she's got me all late. And she's the one that really got me this appointment. Hmm. I had to pick up my mother-in-law from a church social. Hmm. Then, discovered I need gas. I'm kind of running on fumes. <laughs> oh. Mr. King, what you going to the doctor for? Is everything all right? I uh, can't say. You're going for a Viagra prescription, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't need it. <laughs> what are you going for then? Well, I'll tell you, if, if you get one too, I'm going to get checked. I need to have a test done to try to save my life. Uh, oh, man. My mm. prostate. Uh-uh. I don't want some man putting his finger up my butt. What do I need to do that for? Well, I just got Medicare, and I hadn't been to the doctor in 40 years. Mm. Oh. So, so I thought oh, I'd better yes. <laughs> go in and get checked. You know, this, this test only takes a few seconds and it could really stretch my life by years. Mm -hmm. Well, you can get a female doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I don't know whether my wife would like that. You know what I mean? Mr. King, women, we have smaller hands. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend's fingernails are four inches long and you know I definitely don't want that you to wear. <laughs> <laughs> to all of you fellas, I've been doing it every year. Been doing it for the longest. What's the test like? Ain't nothing to it. what he do? I don't know. I feel a little something, but I ain't watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. King. Right, right. Okay, go ahead, right, Mr. Thanks, King. Thanks, Thanks, take care of him. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, hey, man. Chuck. Hey. I miss that softball game. Where you been? Oh, I'm fine. Staying busy. I'm doing some house painting. Yeah. My wife changed the color on it, but I only had half of it painted. Well. Keep it up. All right, all right, all right. I'm really late, y'all. I'll see you next time. <laughs> how you doing now? Hey, 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 Charles. What's right. happening, man? Fine, just fine. Just fine. How, how you, you doing? Been, man? Just fine. How you doing now? Good right. seeing you. All right. Mr. Chuck, Mr. Chuck, how you doing? Just fine. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. All right. Man, I'm lucky I don't have to do that stuff with my doctor. What are you talking about? Oh, Mr. King is on his way to get his prostate checked. Yeah, we'll see if he comes back the same man. <laughs> <laughs> Andre here, he's been getting this prostate check for years, and he's been after my mother, so he must be healthy. Yeah, I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do have to do it. Just because you're young, don't mean you're immune. As a black man, you need to know about this, and you should talk to your doctor about your prostate health starting at age 40. Well, that puts me behind schedule now, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They say my life was saved because the doctor found my prostate cancer early. Been eight years now and I'm still around. Yeah, Quincy. If we can do it and get through it, 
you can do it too. So did Colin Powell, Nelson Mandela. Yeah, even Louis Farrakhan, Harry Belafonte. Hmm. And the Emperor of Japan. And even Robin Roberts. No, man, she had breast cancer. She's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, they all had the cancer, but they're all fine now. You know, I don't want no cancer. I've heard about all the risks. Worst case scenario ain't the first case scenario. You just got to get to the doctor. Talk about your personal risk, such as your age, your family history, your diet, your race. You know, we black men have it the worst with high rates of prostate cancer. I got a real good doctor. Trust him too. He always tell me what I should eat. Less fat, less sugar, only the occasional fried food. It's not only about screening for prostate cancer, but also about reducing your risk by staying healthy. You mean I gotta give up fried chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Screening sound better than dying. They said there's two kind of tests. There's a PSA and a DRE. PSA, DRE? Now what's that? Well, the PSA, that's the prostate specific antigen test. And it's a blood test to detect prostate cancer. The DRE, the digital rectal exam. When a glove well lubricated finger is inserted in the rectum to feel for any type of growth. You see, Andre, the DRE is the one men fear most. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing to be afraid of. Don't fear the finger. Okay, Andre, I guess as men, we got to do what we got to do. <laughs> I guess when it's time, I'll just give myself a rectal exam. <laughs> Mm, that's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, fellas, let's get right. back to the screening. All right. Well, what about all this talk about where the screening is good or not good for you that I hear in the news all the time? Today it's good, tomorrow it's not. Even the doctors and all those medical associations don't agree on what to do. Now, if they're confused, where does that leave us? Believe me, I heard all the arguments too. Some experts are against screening because some cancer found not always lead to death. Other experts say screening reduces the chance of dying, especially if found early. All experts do agree that you should talk to your doctor to choose what's best for you. We all have different risks. Knowledge about your health gives you absolute power over making the best decision. Well, you got that right, Chuck. Let me break it down for you, Quincy. I always keep up with my PSA levels. If the test comes out positive or high, it doesn't automatically mean that you have cancer. It may mean that you just need to change your diet. Maybe even have your doctor watch it for, for a while, every year. We call it watchful waiting. So knowing that one of the risks of prostate cancer is being black, it's best to get a baseline of your PSA at age 40, which is the first reading, and talk with your doctor about how often you need to get screened. Okay, so y'all experts now, huh? Yeah, we're just telling you like it is, Quincy. You know that I run the man-to-man -man group for American Cancer Society. Chuck here, Chuck's the prostate cancer survivor. The doctor is the man beside the bed. And I was the man in the bed. I guess you can call us experts. experts. Yeah, man, I will go to the doctor, but I won't tell you what it's like, okay? <laughs> and we don't want to hear about it either. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, young man, don't fear the finger, it could save your life. Guys, I know it may sound crazy, but don't fear the finger. It really could save your life. Don't fear the finger. It could save your life. Are you at risk for prostate cancer? The confirmed risk factors for prostate cancer include age. Age is the strongest risk factor for prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is very rare before the age of 40, but the chance of having prostate cancer rises rapidly after age 50. Race ethnicity. Prostate cancer occurs more often in African-American men than in men of other races. African-American men are also more likely to be diagnosed at an advanced stage and are more than twice as likely to die of prostate cancer as white men. Family history. Prostate cancer seems to run in some families, which suggests that in some cases there may be an inherited or genetic factor what you should do to reduce your cancer risk. Right now, medical experts do not know how to prevent prostate cancer. They are studying many factors. However, you can reduce your risk of getting cancer in general through the following. 
Know yourself, your family history, and your risks. Stay away from tobacco. Stay at a healthy weight. Get moving with regular physical activity. Eat healthy with plenty of fruits and vegetables. Limit how much alcohol you drink, if you drink at all. Protect your skin. Have regular checkups and talk to your doctor about cancer screening tests. Is prostate cancer screening right for you? First, know that the decision is up to you and your doctor. Here are the opinions of two black men about prostate cancer screening. I'm taking the screening test because they will give me peace of mind. As an African American man, I am a higher risk for getting and dying from prostate cancer. I understand that taking the screening test could mean finding a problem, taking further tests, and treating a potentially serious prostate cancer. And since there's no way to tell if the prostate cancer will cause problems in the future, I want it found early when treatments might be more effective. Although I'm an African American man, I will hold off and not take the screening test until medical experts agree that finding prostate cancer through screening and treating it in its early stages reduces the chance of dying from it. Screening tests could lead to further tests and treatment of a prostate cancer that may never cause problems and treatment may have serious side effects. The right decision is the one that is right for you. When it comes to prostate cancer screening, make sure you talk to your doctor about the pros and cons of testing so you can decide if testing is the right choice for you. This way, you can make an informed decision about your health. Have a talk with your doctor about prostate cancer screening. Starting at age 40, if you are a black man, whether African American, African, or Caribbean. If you decide to be tested, consider having both the PSA blood test and rectal exam. Remember that how often you are tested will depend on your PSA level.